Hello, my name is Gary Walker, and this is Nothing Left Over, professional cooking secrets from buyhappier.com. And welcome back. Today, I'm going to be making a chocolate stout bundt cake. It's gonna be a really delicious and richly flavored cake with a chocolate buttermilk icing. Let me walk you through the ingredients. First of all, we're gonna use a chocolate stout that's been brewed with chocolate and coffee, actually. Um, what we're gonna do is reduce this down, and then we're gonna add some butter and some cocoa powder. We also have two kinds of flour. We have whole wheat flour and all-purpose flour. I like to use a combination of both. We're using dark brown sugar. This is Muscovado sugar, really rich in molasses flavor. Again, that's gonna add a really nice depth of flavor to the cake. Some kosher salt, baking soda to give it a lift. The cake will be moistened with plain yogurt, three eggs, and vanilla extract. And for the frosting, we're using powdered sugar, cocoa powder, buttermilk, vanilla extract. I'm gonna use some chocolate shavings as a garnish. Let's get started. First part of the recipe is we're going to take our stout and reduce it. I've got two cups here. I'm going to pour it into this pan, put it on a medium heat, and reduce it to one cup. Depending upon your circumstances, this could take probably 10 minutes. So now our stout has been simmering on the stove for a good 10-15 minutes. It's been reduced to about one cup, just about half of what we started out with. So I'm going to take it off the heat, I'm going to add in the butter, let that melt, and the cocoa powder. All right, next step. In a medium-sized bowl, we're gonna combine our dry ingredients. We're gonna add our flour. Our dark sugar. Our salt. And our baking soda. And mix till combined. Now that you have the dry mix together, we're gonna to mix our wet ingredients, which consists of plain yogurt, three eggs, and vanilla extract. Mix this to combine. Next, combine the cool chocolate butter stout mixture to the eggs. and mix two combined. The final step is to combine our dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. We're gonna do this in one false swoop, but we're just gonna combine really gently. Gently combine and do not overmix. So after you have it mixed, we're gonna go into our prepared Calphalon Bunt Pan. This is a wonderful piece of equipment to have in your kitchen. First of all, it has a lifetime warranty. Second of all, it's got double layers of non-stick heavy gauge steel to promote even heating. Thirdly, it's uh, oven safe up to 500 degrees. Today we're not gonna be cooking the cake that hot, but just in case you wanted to know that, let's get started. Make sure you get it all in there. Now it's time to make the frosting for our wonderful chocolate stout cake. 
and it's going to be made with buttermilk. A little bit different. If you don't have buttermilk, you can just use regular milk. But the buttermilk, in my opinion, gives it a wonderful tang. So we're going to combine our cocoa powder, confectionery sugar, I've got vanilla extract and buttermilk. So I'm just going to add the buttermilk to that. And dump. And just mix to combine. All set. So it's been about 35 minutes. Let's take a look at our cake. Ooh, good sign. Very good sign. Cracking on the top, a little bouncy, I think it's perfect, we'll let it cool. So while the cake is cooling, we're going to work on the, the garnish. So I'm going to grab some chocolate and a knife. I've just grabbed a block of uh, a buttersweet and I'm just going to take the knife and make shavings to go on top. You'll see how it looks towards the end. I'm just really taking my time with this wonderfully sharp Calphalon knife. Okay, now we're going to invert the cake onto a plate. We're gonna do it this way. Put the cake on top and then I'm going to flip it over. So now we're going to drizzle our glaze on top of our cake. Holy moly. That doesn't look good. I don't know what's wrong with you. And of course our wonderful chocolate shards. Now it's time to eat. We're gonna just cut ourselves a little piece. Love it, trust me. And if you don't, you have a problem. Mm. Mm. So there you have it. We've learned how to make a really wonderful chocolate stout bundt cake. Eat it all up. We don't want anything left over when it's done.